Okay, well, Drew Carabino, man, you invented the <laughs> one of the neatest products I've ever seen. So if you're driving around or doing anything, you get lazy, this thing just slaps you across the face, doesn't it? <laughs> and wakes you up like nothing else, you know, is out there. So it's a little device. You have one there? Yeah. Yes, we do. Yeah, okay. Put it on. You see, now, what that does now, it's like a Bluetooth thing but it really sees your eye, right? And it could tell if you're blinking. Yes. It, yes. Is that it? Tracks it tracks your, your blinks and it tracks your movement to, to quantify how alert you are. Oh, and so if you're drowsing off, whether on the highway or on a date that you don't want to... <laughs> <laughs> Either case works. <laughs> or in that boring English class or anything like that, it just buzzes or whatever to get you back in shape, huh? That's right. God, and you guys, three of you, who are your partners on this? So uh, I'm working with Jason uh, and Jonathan. Ah, uh, and you guys are both of, out of engineering school, University of Pennsylvania, huh? Both, all three of us are mechanical engineering majors, correct, from the University right. of Pennsylvania. And this was a science project, like? <laughs> this was, yeah, yes, it basically it was our uh, senior design engi capstone engineering project. So. I see. And what's neat, you were telling me that now you were looking, you wanted to take it further, and you found somebody in China that gave you money to go over to China to develop this stuff further, right? That's and they right. paid That's the right. ticket. We were, we were uh, right out of school and, and looking for a ways to keep the project going, and we applied to some, some hardware incubators, uh, both in the U.S. and throughout the world, and uh, Accelerator uh, actually accepted us and, and, and flew us out to China to keep what? working. <laughs> I mean, you're a kid from Columbus, Ohio. You know, did you know even know how to spell yeah. China? <laughs> yeah. Oh, wonderful! I mean, that's just incredible. So they paid it out there. So, and then you had a place to work on what you have now, because it was a big clunky thing when you started, right? It was. We had a, a very big, heavy, bulky prototype that we brought with us, but. I went to China to make it a lot smaller and uh, and be ready to, to be manufactured. So. so you found money to do that, and now you're finding more money on Kickstarter, right? Right. Well, we're hoping so. We're about 10 days into our campaign, and we're uh, about 60% uh, through our, our goal. I mean, 10 days, you got 35 days to go. In 10 days, you got almost $30,000. <laughs> we're a kid out of school now. You look at you pay off your student debts. You don't do everything. <laughs> <laughs> we might not be able to use that. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, you got to make that sucker first, right? That's right. It'd be it's got to be successful first. But more importantly, I think you have 400 people already say, yeah, this yeah, is so cool, a right? There's community forming behind it, and we've gotten incredible, incredible feedback so far on uh, just different applications for, for Vigo and where it could be used and what features would be would be awesome. And uh, that's been more value, I would say, than, than maybe even the money so far. So, and, and it really doesn't take any money to really to go on Kickstarter to start this thing, right? No, no. You really just need uh, you need to have built something, uh, something uh -huh. that works enough for you to demonstrate it in a video uh, and through pictures, and then you have to basically tell your story and, and tell people why why you need some of their money to keep going. <laughs> <laughs> and it's not like asking dad, is it? Because you yeah, actually have. No, it's, it's probably easier than asking dad. <laughs> right. actually. But I mean, to me, what you have now is 400 sure customers. So you know the sucker sells. Yeah. Yeah. And so, so yeah, yeah. you could go. And you thought it through already. I mean, besides you know, a couple of years in school, but you were a couple of months in China figuring this thing out and and I guess you already figured out what you're going to do with that money and how to how to get out you know once you get all this money huh? and yeah. I guess you're going to get it absolutely and that's the cool part about going through an, an incubator program before we even went on uh, on uh, kickstarter.com is we already we already have really a plan in place and we know exactly uh, where and why we need this money um, to to keep everything moving and deliver uh, Vigo on time once once hopefully. So, are you sorry that you didn't look at the job recruiters when you graduated instead of doing this? Or <laughs> yeah, we, we we saw them, and you know, the, a, lot, a lot of our friends were going that direction. Yeah, <laughs> so. seems a little boring now, doesn't yeah. it? <laughs> <laughs> right, right. I mean, you just spent four months in China and you're raising 50 grand and, and <laughs> things like I mean, it doesn't get better than that. Uh, yeah. And so, and you're going to uh, be living in San Francisco, the three of you guys, to put this thing uh, together and get it out there. 
Now you yeah. mentioned something about Kickstarter giving you ideas on markets you didn't even know about. Right. Right. Yeah. So we, we went on Kickstarter um, with kind of the, you know, the idea that we knew a lot of our market or where the potential uses for Vigo would be. But uh, there have been a whole, you know, a very a wide variety of people that have reached out and different with different application ideas that we would have never really thought on our own, which has been incredible. That's the power of the crowds. I mean, you, you right. said you had people with narcolepsy. Is that it? Yeah, you know, that, that narcolepsy, don't... people who can't drink caffeine clinically. Uh, people, oh, wow. Um, yeah. with a variety of professions that that need to be alert and that can't you know afford to doze off. Um, so it's, it's, well, it's, well, it's what sounds more interesting than this, besides staying awake, that it it it, it keeps track of your productivity. And it gives you data how your day is. Like you're a lazy bastard between three and four, <laughs> and you're really performing at six to seven, and things like that. That exactly. you know, yeah. to get that quantified is it, just a wonderful piece of data for all of us individually, no matter what the heck we're doing. Yeah. You know, even if we never fall asleep, you know, there there are better times, you know, in our day. I'm sure that we're more effective, and there that be the time you want to put the most important projects in front of you. Right, right, exactly. And we all really have routines that we go through on it, you know, every, every yeah. day, but, but, you know, how often do we take a step back and look at, you know, how, yeah. when are we most effect effective? Oh, we didn't know how to, we just guess. Oh, I feel <laughs> good now, so this must be a good time, but who the heck knows, yeah. But right. this is real data. I mean, that that is wonderful. I mean, could you imagine with kids, and you, even young kids in school, you know, you're worried about, if they're getting it or they have trouble paying attention i mean you, you flip one of these things on their ear and you know what the hell they're doing <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's dangerous too because a teacher could give these out and if you're not paying attention <laughs> right <laughs> exactly <laughs> no, yeah. I, I think nasa i mean not nasa nsa is going to buy a whole bunch of these things <laughs> 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 and they don't have to listen to our phone calls anymore. They could just see where we're screwing around. <laughs> well, it's just a wonderful product. Uh, do you foresee like just the, the growth is like in different applications or similar products after this? Uh, well, we're going to really explore that. We're going to, I think there's, there's a really a wide variety of applications and, and yeah. we're not exactly sure, you know, where it's going to be most valuable. And I think that's right. what we're trying to find uh, now and in the next few months through our Kickstarter and our first development run um, is, and I think, you know, after we find where it's really most valuable, we're going to try to, to really, uh, you know, develop a, a solution that's going to sell the hell out of it there, right? <laughs> Well, it looks like at least for the near future, your career's pretty set. You know, you're going to get that 50 grand, no problem. And you'll go in production and, and you, it sounds like you're getting distributors on your from the Kickstarter project already and everything, you know, to get this out there. And, and the, the most amazing thing to me is that it's price for the consumer. I mean, what it's under 100 bucks is like 50 yeah, yeah, to 100 bucks. That's, or... that's another benefit from, uh, you know, going over and, and finding out the, the really the most of the efficient yeah. way to build it is you can make your cost as low as possible and right and make, and then make it for the average person on the street and right. actually on kickstarter you get a deal now if you buy it on the kickstarter you get you know from when we're talking we got about 35 more days so why wait and pay the retail price right this is like going to walmart and you can get it at a big discount <laughs> Gotta get them now while, while they're yeah uh, while they're so what, what's the cheapest you can get it online now that on the kickstarter so they were set, uh, fifty nine ninety nine. Now we're looking at, I believe, seventy nine ninety nine is uh -huh. the next uh, the price now that you can get them for right. Uh, well, I mean, starter for the next month. So it's going to be over a hundred bucks when it hits retail. I'm sure. Yeah, that's, that's probably <laughs> what, what they'll be once once we hit. Right. So that's why, to me, what what's fun about Kickstarter, I mean, you're getting like, it's like home shopping or something like that. You're gonna, and you're getting it before anybody else, man. You're, you're going to be the first on the block. <laughs> what could be better than that? You know? And yeah, I mean, for a personal development, you know, tool, I mean, that's what I see. Everyone yes. now has a tool, they could quantify their actions, you know, and their effectiveness uh, for personal development. You know, why go to the gym? You know, maybe you should be going to the gym some other time, you know. That, yeah, yeah, you have more yeah. energy, exactly. Yeah, suits you well. Well, the best place to find you, right, is where Vigo, W-E-A-R-V-I-G-O dot com. Right, right, Drew? 
<laughs> and you're going to be there for a long time, and so you can get we'll to there. you can get the Kickstarter from there too, right? Yeah, you can go right to the Kickstarter uh, from our website, or you could search Vigo on Kickstarter. Right, page as well. either way, right. <laughs> Got our Facebook well, page too, so follow us on there as well. Oh, well, it's it's fun to see young people doing new and exciting things, and old people could do them too. You know <laughs> yeah. that, that we just forget. You know that's why you should inspire all the rest of us old farts to get out there and do something. <laughs> Well, wonderful, Drew. Thank you for being there and thank you for sharing your talents with everybody yeah, else. Thank you so much for having us. <laughs> okay, take Where care. Go, with us? I, go Vigo! <laughs>